Welcome to Text Local. From a transactional account, you can send only messages that match one of your pre approved templates. In this video, we'll show you how to add and edit templates and also use them to send messages via Text Local Messenger and APIs. Templates can be broadly classified into two categories static and dynamic. A static template is used when the same message needs to be sent to all the recipients. These messages generally include group notifications, such as school closures or service downtimes. A dynamic template is used when the message differs for every recipient. These messages generally include OTPs, order updates and banking alerts. Let's now see how to add a static template. Log into your account and select Templates and Drafts under the Send tab. Click on Request New Template button. Give a title to the new template. This only acts as an identifier and won't be part of the message content or API request. Select one of the pre approved sender IDs. Enter your message content along with any attachments, short links, or surveys and request for the new template. This template will now be reviewed and approved by us within a couple of business hours. You can check the approval status of all your templates in the Templates and Drafts page. Let's now see how to add dynamic parameters in a template. Whenever you need to place a dynamic parameter in your template, click on Insert Restricted Template Items and select Insert an Input Box. Specify the maximum character length and give a placeholder name for your dynamic parameter. Ensure that the placeholder names are unique and not repeated for any other parameters. Inserting dynamic parameters will result in HTML tags being added to your templates. These tags will not appear in the final message. If your dynamic parameter will be replaced by a limited set of values, you can also create a drop-down by clicking on Insert a Custom Drop-down. Give a unique title to the drop-down and add your options one by one. You can see all the added options in the preview drop down. Add as many dynamic parameters as needed, draft the rest of your template, and request for the new template. This template will now be reviewed and approved by us within a couple of business hours. You can check the approval status of all your templates in the Templates and Drafts page. If your text local contact groups are uploaded along with any custom fields, just click on Insert Merge Fields while creating a template and add the custom fields you want to. Please note that these merge fields cannot be referenced in API. To know how to create text local contact groups with custom fields, refer to our How to Create Contacts video. To edit an approved template, just select the template in Templates and Drafts page, make the edits, and click on Request New Template. Your edited template will now be placed under review. Please note that the approved current template can continue to be used as is. Here are a few quick notes for API users. Transactional messages sent via Text Local API will be sent only if it is an exact match with any of the pre approved templates. So ensure that the spaces, commas, and periods follow the exact pattern. Before calling the Text Local API, ensure that your code replaces all the dynamic parameters with specific values corresponding to the recipient. You should call the Send API with the final message content. Ensure that all the special characters are URL encoded. Any new line characters in your template 
should be replaced with percent %n. In case you encounter an invalid template error, perform these quick checks to ensure that the error is resolved.